Okay, this looks great. Ooh. Wow. So I recently found team. Recently found team and I'm excited about it. Like I remember growing up with team. Team Sprite Seven Up. No, Team Seven Up and there were others. Wow, I can't even remember their names. Huh. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. It's the last bitters ever. Eesh. And by then growing up, we used to think that team had team had a uh, bitter leaf inside. <laughs> well, and this brings a lot of childhood. Oh my goodness. And it's still very bitter. Oh my god, it actually has quinine in it. And quinine is what is used for malaria medicine if i'm not mistaken oh wow nice so does it mean that if you take a can or two of team you're probably healing yourself of um treating yourself of malaria who knows okay hi everybody let me keep this aside hi everybody it's Shari Kati here and welcome to my channel again. I want to take this opportunity again to thank you because you guys are amazing. You help my channel. You're the ones that help me come back to this place and get more and more comfortable with sitting in front of a camera and just talking. To be honest, I had earlier this year fought the, the, the feeling of sitting down in front of a camera and talking. It felt like I was wasting my time it felt like I really didn't have anything to say and so I was really very scared but I'm going there I'm getting there I'm also thankful for your feedback because when you tell me stuff it helps me to you know get better at something or nothing and, and that's just lovely thank you so 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 much so uh, I want to talk about something that is quite impressive or it's a personal thing but i think it's a very important thing for everybody as well so recently like i have been learning about the importance of people and i know that in our generation we talk about being extroverts and being introverts and a lot of people are like oh i'm introvert i'm introvert i'm introverts yes basically introverts are people that are more comfortable with themselves and extroverts are people that you know life of the party they like to hang out they like to be with people and stuff like that and i feel like this concept of being introvert is kind of making people to become more secluded more, wanting to be more of an island day by day and at the end of the day you're having more people that are depressed someone said to me recently and it's just a powerful word the person said no one was born to be an island nobody was born to be an island no matter what happened you came from a family even if your mom threw you away the truth is that you came out from a woman right so that still tells you that there's a connection somewhere so human beings were created to socialize i know that a lot of us are scared of being taken advantage of you know people wanting to run over you and all and that's where the concept of boundaries coming and yes there are times where you want to be all by yourself that's also not 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 in any way um, discarded those are also part of it but the truth is that we all need human beings we all need people so what kind of people do you need because you don't need everybody you need people you need the right set of people for your life i was watching um an interview of um jay shetty and trevor noah i'm a big fan of trevor the reason why i like trevor noah is how he's able to talk about culture to talk about racial discrimination and how he's just able to help us see that at the end of the day we're just humans just being humans and we should stop trying to you know look for some special thing about thingy but again the truth about it is that everybody wants to find something unique about themselves to make them feel better but 
you're unique in yourself yeah like you're unique in yourself and it's always hard to accept it but that's the truth if you can find your uniqueness and serve the world your uniqueness you found purpose that's basically what dr miles monroe will say okay great so in this interview um um trevor said that people know him to be very friendly but that he doesn't have so many friends now you're gonna be thinking for someone who is a comedian and like he's so funny and he has a lot of stories if you read his book bonnie crime you could always like find people his cousins his brothers like people now what do you, how can you say you don't have so many friends and then trevor now said that for him to say you are his friend it means that he has seen you in different faucets he has been with you he has fellowshiped with you and he has seen you react in different ways that he can now picture you in a certain situation my friend does this a lot so recently we at work we we're going to have like a cooking show and then she was frying um vegetables and she was like sharon this is something you'd like and it was true i like to see colors i am a big fan of everything looking colorful in the plate so i was like oh wow she knows me that i would like this right another is like oh this looks like sharon this looks like her and there are many times where when i'm out as, as well and i see stuff i just feel oh this is definitely my friend this looks like my friend i can almost imagine what she would say in a certain situation because of how long we've been i am i can tell to an extent what she would say in a certain situation how she would react to a certain situation and stuff like that right so he said for him to call you a friend he has to like see you in those in those different faucets and be able to tell who you are what, what your reaction can be and then he bring all those together consolidate them to his personality and then see how you know the relationship is beneficial to both of you he said being a friend is not just the fact that he, he said that he always likes to think of the fact that he doesn't want to be a friend that is not available that's not there for you and at the same time he doesn't want to be a, uh, he doesn't want you to be a friend of his that when he needs you he's not you're not there right so these are so many things about friendship but bible tells us that um uh a knife sharpens a knife right an iron sharpens an iron and that simply tells you the kind of criteria you should be looking out for friends uh, I would say that you should find friends that of different levels, right? I have friends that I look up to. To be honest, I have friends of different walks of life. I have friends that, um, when I say friends now, I should put it this way. I have really close friends. Now, that real close friends is, is like my investment, my investment, my wealth my my strength and that's very important okay so why i say it's important because like i said earlier your wealth of friendship your wealth of network really becomes your strength and you're not you're not you're not always going to be up there you're always going to need help you're always going to need support you're always going to need someone to guide you someone to talk to someone that you know can pray with you and all of that so these are what the kind of friends you should have i would say you should have friends that are spiritual when i say spiritual i mean friends that when you need a community of believers that can help you navigate through because sometimes when we don't have like a network of friends of same faith we can sometimes veer off uh, in our spiritual minds right and get carried away so you need to have that community that somehow still help you keep the the fire of your faith going on you need to have friends that are that are you need to have friends that are future focused like you need to have friends that are always thinking towards like what what's what's ahead right better still i always like to have friends that are that i perceive are better than me in some aspects say friends that um at work they do their work better they have an excellent way of doing things an excellent way of handling things an excellent way of seeing things i like those kind of friends because what happens is that they pull me up right so you should have friends that can pull you up 
friends that you can see where you are lacking and you know you see that thing in them and that just helps you to pull yourself up helps you to move someone said that the best way or the fastest shortcut to success is changing your environment or making sure that your network are people that are successful somehow the conversations you are having the places you are going to the mindset that you are finding in them automatically will force you to be pulled up to the next the next the next uh, your next level of life so you should have friends that that can hold you spiritually physically emotionally and you have friends that are, can pull you up so have friends of your same level have friends that are higher than you and of course also have friends that are lower than you people that you can also hold in hand and together pull yourself up you know help them pull up right so that's the concept of how you should you should see you should see yourself you should not just only think about um, how to get from people also think about friends that you can give to so yeah friendship is important think of the lifters think of the people to hold you and think of the people that you can also be a ladder to to help through because the truth is you need people we need people in 2023 you don't want to live life alone it just makes life much difficult there are things that your friends can do just having people around you can really save you a whole lot and depression one of the easiest way depression easily gets to people is when people don't have people that they can rely on I'm so patient today. It's exactly you need friends that can help you and uh, the combination of those that can lift you, the combination of those that can hold you, combination of those that you can also help you know to get up is very important. In 2023 you don't want to leave life an island. It's 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 just going to make life much harder, it's going to slow you down, it's going to just you know make 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 things much difficult for you. So think about the qualities of what you think is your next it's, it's something you should do. You should think about the qualities of what you think the next phase of your life you know is for and put them together and then find a community that has this, you know, friends that people that have this and think of how you could bring them into your into your world so that you can the truth is getting to relate with people makes it much easier for you to just when you are in relationship with people it's easier for you to learn the things you want to learn you know from them so think of this and make friends make good friends 2023 you need a lot of good friends so ladies and gentlemen i want to thank you so much for watching my video it was just like a pop-up to just tell you what i think about friendship and how it's important to as much as you're an introvert it's very important to have friends like don't allow the concept of introversy to make you not to want to be around people you need to be around people <laughs> being alone is like one of the best ways that depression can have its way on you so that's just it all right everyone thank you so much for watching my video and i hope you're having a lovely holiday uh, for those that are still going to work or school i just wish you the best of the christmas and see you in my next video that's very important